This is my 150 gram ant weight combat robot, Yellow and Dangerous. It has a grade 5 titanium single tooth blade, carbon fiber weapon mounts, and a very yellow TPU chassis. I've attended two events with this iteration of the robot, and this video will document the first of these. Back in February of 2024, Wollongong Robot Combat hosted one of their regular events. WRC's event structure is four round-robin fights to determine seeds from which the top eight bots go through to single elimination finals. This ensures everyone gets at least four fights. Each fight is three minutes long, with the pit dropping after two minutes. My first fight was against another new bot, Bob. Bob is a two-wheel drive overhead horizontal spinner. Interestingly, with two blades that would spin kind of independently. Given my weapon was longer than his, I figured I should be able to hit him before he hit me, and possibly grab one of those exposed wheels. Here's how that went. Those wheels were just too tasty to pass up. I also did some damage to his PLA chassis, as PLA is quite brittle. Unfortunately, the nut holding the blades onto his motor wasn't loctited, and the weapon spun the wrong way, so each hit loosened the nut rather than tightening it. Uh, this resulted in it coming off without really many engagements. Thankfully the wheel and blades popped back on, so not too much lasting damage. A short and sweet first ever fight for Yellow. With no damage, it was on to the second fight against Nexus. Nexus is a melty brain, but not just any melty brain. It's only got one wheel. Given the entire robot was the weapon, there was no way for me to outreach this one, so there was really nothing for it except to send it. Alright. In three, two, one, fight. Oh, oh no, the tape. Oh, the tape. Oh, Go the other way. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, okay. Take the other stick. Yeah. 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 An unfortunate bounce caused me to lose this fight, but it was still very fun and kind of scary. Interestingly, post-fight examination revealed that while I'd only suffered a single scratch, Nexus Tooth had actually split from those repeated hits against my weapon. Nexus wasn't exactly the fastest bot, since there being only one wheel meant that the center of rotation changed slightly every time the battery was swapped and every time it spun up. This meant I was kind of just free to engage when I wanted. Unfortunately, I found that at higher weapon RPMs, my drive slowed to a crawl, and I was always trading weapon for drive speed. The third round robin fight was against a four wheel drive overhead attack hammersaw bot by the name of Hexwitch. 
After the box rush and pin in the first few seconds, my weapon finally spun up and while doing so ejected the little plastic bearing retainer that supports the top motor. This would turn out to be a recurring issue and was often breaking and adding resistance to the motor in previous fights. I figured out during this fight that the slight angle of my weapon plus the torque from spinning up and down could help me jump out of pins. Unfortunately, this jumping sent me into the pit. The final round robin fight was against Subdivide. Subdivide is one of James's robots, which are notoriously hard to kill. Although Hexwitch's weapon had fortunately not done any damage to me, I knew that it wouldn't be the case with Subdivide. Therefore, some adjustments were required. Being an overhead attack robot, I wouldn't be needing any side armor. Instead, I could put that weight towards some hastily cut 1.5 mil sheets of polycarb. 3 mil polycarb is what's used for the arena itself, so I hope that half of that would be enough. Right, we get this fight on the way in. 3, 2, 1, fight! Oh, no. 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 Oh,
can if you want. Or you can fly to the death. To the death. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. Are you sure? <laughs> I, think this, I think the blades oh, are so smart. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Again, the bearing retainer ejected itself, and my drive just really didn't want to work. It was an effort each and every time just to turn to face my opponent, and that, coupled with James's amazing driving skill, meant it was only a matter of time before I was pinned. The polycarb stood up to several hits, but eventually Subdivide had smacked enough of an edge into it that it could get a bite and rip through it which is no small feat. Surprisingly, there wasn't any sign that the TPU beneath that had even been touched. This gave me some hope right up until he got my carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is many things, however one thing it is not is tough. In one hit, one of the arms was gone, then another until the weapon wires were cut. I had gone into this event expecting to lose a bunch and gain valuable data from those losses on how to improve. So I continued to fight, or that was until the weapon ESC smoked up, because I'd left the throttle up after the wires were chopped. Final damage was some deep gashes in Subdivide's TPU wedge, bashed up polycarb and carbon fiber, as well as the heads of my motor mounting screws for the weapon being sheared right off. With one win and three losses, Yellow and Dangerous was edged out of the top eight and was sent into the rumble with a replacement PETG weapon mount for more data on how it took damage. parts in the corner. Finally, we had time for a three-way grudge match at the end between Bob, myself, and 92, which was a non-destructive lifter. Three, two, one, fuck. Well, 
Oh, my stuff. Come on. Oh, that's what was that? Way. That was tape. That was tape. It's okay. We don't need tape. Oh, it's wedging. It's wedging. Oh! Try and keep it right again. Get my hands. Oh, no. Oh, you did get all that. Wait, that's just my flipper. That's okay. We don't need a flipper. That's just a. He's stuck in the wall. Leave uh, him. Uh, come on, get him. Seven. <laughs> 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 That's a pinball machine. <laughs> Just shake the oh, arena. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey! Kush, what's happening? My wheel's gone, and I'm stuck in something. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was worried that was going to come down straight on the back. Right? Right. That, that's probably a bit far. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Overall, this was a really good time and I learned a lot about my bot. Part of the fun of this is finding issues and figuring out how to solve them. And there's certainly a few that need to be fixed for next time.